Hi everybody, Quint Lears, newhomesales.com. I'm super excited to have Steve Ryder. Steve, thanks so much for joining us. Hey, it's my pleasure, Quint. Thank you for inviting me. Steve is the principal and owner of the National Builder Trade-In Program, um, as well as New Home Ambassador. Tell me, what, how did this start? Tell me a little bit about your background with this. Well, Quint, you know, I've been in uh, working with new home builders for 40 years. And after the last recession in 2007, I decided it was, a, it was time for me to give back to my industry. And so I went to Gary Keller and I said, Gary, I would like to expand my program nationwide. And he sent me back a one word question, why? And I said, that's easy, Gary. Number one, I like to teach. Number two, I like to share. Number three, I'll probably learn more than they will. And number four, if I make a buck or two, God bless me. And that's how it started four years ago. That's amazing. What have you learned? Because you're, you've are you created this um, licensing program, but then you're also there for them, full support. Tell me some of, some of the teaching techniques that have been very valuable to the success of the people that are under you that are working with you to sell these new homes and resell. Absolutely. You know, our program is basically a top-down and a bottom-up approach because as you well know, being a sales agent, the relationship with the sales agent is hugely important. But you normally have to get permission from the sales manager or the vice president of sales or the president. So we teach them two prongs of approach, top down and bottom up. We also make sure that they join the Home Builder Association because as you well know, then you're one of them. So those are probably two of my best secrets and consistency. At the end of the day, we have an eight week to success program where we teach you 66 questions to ask over an eight week period that's designed to make you know that person backwards and forwards. And once you know them and you know everything that they like, you've built a relationship. It's about them, it's not about you. Give, give me, what's the biggest mistake that you see right now with home builders um, and maybe their representatives? You know, at the end of the day, 2007 through 2014 or 13, as you well know, was the biggest recession that we've had. I've been doing this for 40 years and I've been, this was my third recession. And so the biggest mistake that I see new home builders making is forgetting us in the good times and then trying to abuse us in the bad times, meaning they want us to bring up buyers when, it, when they can't make sales. But then when they're making sales and they're making money, they stop co-broking with us or they reduce our co-broke and we are the back blood we are the backbone and the blood and the energy for the new home industry we a resale agent controls 98 percent of the buyer traffic which means new home builders need us so we need to work in alliance i love that team keep that going you've been doing a lot of speaking a lot of training but now you're doing some writing tell me about the new book and what it's about and what what your thoughts are behind that well, the book is called Change. It's right here, Change by Steve Ryder. And change is an inevitable. It happens every single day. And the way we adapt to change is the difference between success and failure. So at the end of the day, I wrote this book to be a very, very simple book. It took me two minutes to write and takes you about two minutes to read. But it's something that you can go back to no matter what time of your life that you're in when you've had some sort of significant change, normally in a bad uh, situation, and look at how we can improve that. I've got 12 steps to improvement, and if you use the book as your guide, you'll be a much happier person, person and have a much more fulfilled life. Any last words of encouragement? Let's say for the frontline salesperson that feels discouraged, how do we contact you? So give me some encouragement, and, and then uh, let us know how we can follow you and keep in touch. Absolutely. The most important thing that I'd say, as a salesperson, it's all about your mindset. If you come in every single day that you go to work with the proper mindset that you're going to be a success and that you're going to sell a home today, then that's 99% of the battle. So at the end of the day, it's your mindset. If you can control your mindset, you can control your life. And that's the key. So it has everything to do with how you uh, embrace change. Change leads to different habits. Those habits learn to uh, lead to different disciplines. So at the end of the day, you need to make sure that you're always working on your mindset and having a positive attitude. As far as getting hold of me, you can reach me at buildertradein.com and look on Amazon uh, for the book called Change.